Hey Capricorns, let's see how they feel about you during August here. So I'll be using the Romance Angels deck first. Okay, so how many came out? Um, three. Okay, Capricorns, so at the moment they're staying optimistic about this connection and are attracted to you. They're focused on finances and career, but they're optimistic right now, guys. This huge attraction they have for you is still there, okay? They're just focused on work at the moment there. So let's get some of the Gilded Tarot here and see how do they feel about Capricorns during August, okay? Let's see. Two of Wands. They're open to... Um, Offers here, they could be waiting for you here, Capricorn, um, but really focused on their financial path at this time, okay? So this is 11, spiritual path. They're open to this connection with you. Very optimistic about this connection with you, okay? That's good if you want it. The Fool. So they feel like they want this new beginning with you. They feel like maybe at the moment it's just too risky, okay? So they want, they're they waiting for maybe a less risky opportunity. So maybe for you to um, make them an offer maybe. Um, but what they need to do here is take a leap of faith because I feel like, you know, both of you have a, a one to offer here. I feel like both of you are open to this. So they're optimistic at the moment. Okay. The higher offense. So they believe in this partnership between you both. Okay. They do believe um, that you are spiritually connected with them here. Okay, Hierophant, so could be um, a few months, five months, okay. They could be um, open to this connection or they will take the leap of faith within the next five months here. Um, they're feeling the pull towards you. Three of Pentacles, they really want this to work out with you, okay? So that's why they don't want to take any risks, but it seems a risk may be necessary to open up the connection again here. So I feel like they will be divinely guided or seeing like messages or your name or something here. I'm seeing the letter M, I'm seeing the letter H, and I'm seeing the letter N, okay? Five of Pentacles, they feel uh, the lack without you here, okay? They may be um, working hard because they're struggling for money, but here they're feeling the lack without you. They're feeling the loss of you here, Capricorn. Queen of Swords, they feel like you've cut them off. Okay, they're enlightened or um, spiritually awakening here. I think the Capricorn read, yeah, it was like they wake up with no communication. Okay, so I feel like they have things to say to you now. They have things to say to you now. It's like they want to communicate this. I feel this without you. I'm nothing without you here. Like, let's work this out. Let's work on this. Two of Pentacles. So the situation seems to be stuck still, going like a backwards and forwards sort of energy. Um, a firm decision needs to be made. A firm choice needs to be made here. Ooh, Seven of Cups. So it could be a decision between you and another person that they're making Capricorn. Ooh, juicy. It could just be um, they're confused about why they're feeling the, the lack without you, but it's like they're awakening to that, okay? So all of them want to turn over, don't they? 
Okay, they're waiting for a chance to get you back. Okay, Capricorns. Um, they've done this soul searching now. And what they found is they feel empty without you with the five of pentacles. You know, they're, they may have another option. So they have to make a choice here, I feel. But I feel like they've done this soul searching here. And they feel like loss without you. They're feeling the loss you know, of the stability without you here. They're soul searching. They're looking for you, Capricorn. They're looking for you. Hmm. Good luck, guys. <laughs> 